A pretty common question that we get from customers is, okay, so I've put an MTR in place. What happens if I receive an invitation for a Zoom meeting or a WebEx meeting? Can I join meetings for those systems as well? The short answer is yes. As long as it's a certified MTR device, which all of ours are, you can just as easily join a Zoom meeting or a WebEx meeting as a Teams meeting. In this video, we'll go ahead and schedule some of these meetings and join them so I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here you see my Outlook calendar. Just so you don't think I have any tricks up my sleeve, we'll go ahead and schedule a Zoom meeting and a WebEx meeting together in this video, and then I'll show you how they render on an RX V81, as well as what the experience looks like when I join the meetings. Now I've installed the Zoom plugin, so I'll go ahead and simply click Schedule a Meeting. You'll notice that it opens a calendar invite along with the Zoom meeting wizard. Here I can adjust things such as the waiting room, whether video is automatically turned on, so on and so forth. But for this demonstration, I'll just leave things as they are and I'll click save. Next, I'll adjust the date and time. Go ahead and put this on this afternoon and I'm gonna schedule this as a very brief meeting. The reason why is you can't schedule overlapping meetings with the Teams MTR device. The device knows if it's been reserved with the previously scheduled meeting, so it will actually decline the invitation. Let's go ahead and set this meeting from 1230 to 1245, and then we'll set the WebEx meeting for after that. All right, now that we've got the time figured out, we simply have to invite the MTR device to it. I'll go ahead and do that. I've created a distribution list email that will invite all of my lab devices at once to a meeting. Next, I click send, and my meeting rooms are configured to automatically accept the invitation. Let's shift gears and look at WebEx. To make this easy, I've also installed the WebEx plugin. I'll go ahead and open this and click schedule a new meeting. You'll see it defaults to Taylor Anderson's meeting and suggests a time. For the purposes of our demonstration, let's go ahead and move this up to 1 o'clock p.m. And then let's add our meeting rooms again as an invitee. Things look good. I'll go ahead and click schedule. Now, just to show you what it looks like, here's my inbox. You'll notice how I've received all of these accepted emails. Here's my RXV81B10 unit, my RXV81RC unit, the RXV200, the RXV100B20, and the RXV100B42. I suppose now you can see why I created a simple distribution email for all of these. Teams room administrators do need to run a PowerShell command to allow these systems to automatically accept invitations from external parties but this is something we can easily walk them through. This is exactly what you would expect to see if you had reserved a Teams meeting room, the automatic accepted for your meeting invite. Now let's shift gears and I'll show you the screens on my RX pad and my RX V81 monitor. All right, so for this demonstration, I've remotely connected to both the RX pad, which we see on the left-hand side of the screen, and my TV on the wall that's running the RX V81, so my monitor display on the right-hand side of the screen. Now immediately notice the calendar tiles, Taylor Anderson's Zoom meeting, which we just scheduled for 1230 to 1245, and Taylor Anderson's meeting, which as we know is the WebEx meeting. When the start time arrives for the meeting, in this case 1230, these tiles will actually change to the branding for the reflected platform. Notice the Zoom logo, notice the Zoom color blue. Kind of a nice feature so the user can easily identify what kind of meeting this is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click join, and you'll see that the screens change. Again, on the right-hand side, here's my monitor. That's what I'm seeing on the wall. On the left-hand side, here's the RX pad connecting to the Zoom meeting. But you'll see I'm effectively in the lobby because the host hasn't joined the meeting. So let me go ahead and join Zoom and start this meeting. Okay, so now we can see ourselves sitting at the desk in the Zoom meeting. What we're seeing on the screen is what I'm seeing actually to my right on the TV monitor. This is me on my desktop camera. Notice how both the theming and the controls have changed for this meeting. On the RX pad, you'll see that it renders as Zoom. It's now a different blue color, and I have basic Zoom meeting controls. Here's my TV screen, though. Notice how this now reflects Zoom instead of Teams. Unmute, stop and start the video. I can see my participants, chat. I can put emojis into the screen if I wish. Let's go ahead and do a thumbs up because this is such a great demonstration. But this is a great feature. If the user is familiar with the Zoom meeting interface, well, here it is. Since I'm in a Zoom meeting, I'm not forcing this into a Teams wrapper. I'm literally rendering this as a Zoom meeting with all of the same great Zoom controls. So again, 
very easy from the Teams MTR to accept an invitation for a Zoom meeting and then join the Zoom meeting the same way I would a Teams meeting, a single button click, and then I have the Zoom experience. So let's go ahead and hang up here and I'll show you what it looks like for WebEx. Okay, so we're back on the main screen. Again, here's the RX pad. Here's the RX V81 monitor on the wall. I'll go ahead and click the pad to join the WebEx meeting. Now, similar experiences we have with Zoom, you can see that I'm sitting effectively in the lobby waiting for the host to start the meeting. So let me jump over to my WebEx client and go to my schedule and I'll, I'll start this meeting. The RxV81 connects to the WebEx meeting and lo and behold, here we are. Notice again how the RX pad has changed. I now have a WebEx logo, this greenish color that WebEx uses for branding. Here's the meeting name, basic controls. But over to the right, notice what it looks like on my monitor now. I am in a WebEx meeting, right? It doesn't look like Teams, doesn't look like Zoom, it's just WebEx. So I can unmute, mute, I can start my video, similar experience. I have my changes here, I can adjust my settings for my reactions, I can share content, I can do all of the things that I would normally do inside of a WebEx meeting, even though I'm joining this from a Teams MTR. So again, it's just as easy for an MTR to accept meetings for Zoom or for WebEx as it is for a Teams meeting. And interestingly enough, when you join the meeting, you get the experience of that platform. So it's more than simply having third-party interoperability, meaning I'm using my Teams client, right, to join a Zoom or a WebEx meeting. Not only can I do that, but my client and my display actually render to the platform. So now you've seen what it looks like to join third-party meetings. Of course, if you have any questions at all, as always, give me a holler. I'm here to help.